Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people, if you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag. Because it's always nice to make someone else's day. Ek het baie goeie nies. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie nies to tell me, because if you do, it means you've learned the ch and the nies, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going, making this weird shape with your mouth. E, goeie nies. Ek swem in die see. I'm swimming in the sea. Clearly, like I just said, I'm not swimming in the sea today because it is freezing here. But if you're at the Durban Strand, then the sea is where you want to be. Goeiemiddag, kan ek help? Goeiemiddag, kan ek help? Good afternoon, can I help you? So this is a good one to answer the phone or if you just bump into someone and they're like looking at you like, you're like, hello, can I help you? <laughs> it's, it's very easy to remember. Goeie middag, if you've learned those two, you're set. Kan ek help, sounds the same. Help is the same. Can I ek. So, kan ek help. And hopefully you can. Hopefully you can give them some directions or just tell them that they have a smidge on their face or whatever. Help everyone in any way you can, but try to be polite about it so that they can say danke. Dit is lekker om elke naweek te braai. It's nice to have a barbecue every weekend. If you're South African, you definitely will be having a braai every weekend. I know I do. It's such a thing, like I was just saying about the meat on the barbecue. It's very, very South African and you can't come to South Africa or you can't know South African peoples, people who don't have a braai elke naweek. It's just great atmosphere, great jaw, have some drink in the hand, the sun in the sky, braai. Very, very lovely. Nice memories. Nice memories to make. Nice memories to remember. <laughs> Just have a braai. A good way is to use eco-friendly products. A good way is to use eco-friendly products. What better way? I mean, don't use them bad straws that they hand out at the takeaway that you got. Don't ask for that extra pair of plastic fork and spoon when you go buy the burger on after a night out or something or even just at home try to use things that you can reuse again use glass things that you can wash instead of things that you can throw away store things in old butter thingies instead of buying tupperware and putting it in there if you reuse things or use products that are eco-friendly like bamboo or glass or all these things that aren't going to contribute to ruining our environment it's such an easy way to feel good about the things that you use and put in yourself can ek drie koffies kry asseblief kan ek drie koffies kry asseblief can I have three coffees, please? Sure, it's been a it's been a long day if you're asking for three coffees. Uh, maybe you're socializing and you're getting them for your friends, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a very easy word to remember. Coffee, coffee, it's just a little bit of a different pronunciation. But if you're not a coffee person, tea is the same. Also, tea, tea. Um, I'm a coffee person and I'm very excited to go make my third coffee of the day. Probably a little bit unhealthy, but um, need my energy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy your third coffee as well. Meer mense kan omgee vir die omgeving. More people can care for the environment. If we teach our children to, if we stick to all the rules that we've just been through, then yes, maybe we can encourage and inspire others to be like us, to do the same things, to be those earthy people that makes everyone cringe a little bit, but also have so much pride for, because they're the ones that after all, they're the ones that can make a difference in this world. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear. Um, 
even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list, we're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. My hond ken net liefde. My hond ken net liefde. My dog only knows love. Oh, that's so true. I mean, if you have a dog or a cat or any kind of pet that you have at the ho- in the house all the time, it's so nice. Like, you can have an argument with anyone. You can have the worst day ever, but you know when you get home, you're going to get that cuddle. You're going to get that love from your little pig. Um, so hopefully your pets are as lovable as mine and your dogs also can net liefde. Thank you. So there we go again with the politeness. Be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just ask say thanks say donkey and if you can't remember the word think of a donkey that's how I always used to tell people and then just change the the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey you must say donkey yeah it's welcome you're welcome so that's the response if someone said donkey to you you're obviously going to say you're welcome yeah it's welcome because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them, so yeah, it's welcome. Yeah, yes. Pretty straightforward, yes. Positive response to something, so pretty easy. Near, no. Also pretty straightforward, but try not to use it so much because it's going to be a downer on anyone, unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response. But yeah and near, pretty easy going, used quite often, so good ones to remember. Okay, (laughs) okay, very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said, hello. Um, Okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. Verskoen mij, excuse me. This is a part of that politeness again. If you are leaving the table or you're walking away from something because you don't really like the conversation going on, you just politely say, Fish go in my as a belief as well, if you want to be even more nice, even nicer. Ek is yammer. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, this one means you've done something wrong or you've said something that's not so polite. But just be a human being and say sorry if a sorry is needed. And then remember, ek is yammer. Who lot is it? What's the time? This is funny. The translation isn't exactly what's the time, but that's how we say it here in South Africa. You literally say, how late is it? Because you're always late for something or you're always thinking it's later than it is. So try to remember it that way. We're always late. So that's why we say, who lot is it? Like, how late is it? Var is die badkamer? Where is the restroom? This one you'll probably use when you're out at the restaurants or at a random friend's house that you've never been to before and you really need a wee. So you're going to be needing this one. So remember, waar is die badkamer? Wach a biki. Wait a moment. You're a little bit busy in a conversation and someone comes and chirps in and all you want to say is just hold on. So if you ever in these situations and you have friends that like to interrupt you, then maybe you should learn wach a biki. And you could always add as a belief as well if you don't want to sound too rude and like cut offy. You can say wachabiki, as a belief. Who feel costed? How much is this? Now you're in the shop. So you've been to the restaurants, you've been to friends' house, you've been everywhere, and now you're in the shops and you're seeing this beautiful new thing that you really want to buy. But you know, you're on holiday, so you can't just be splurging money everywhere. So you're going to have to ask this question quite often Who feel costed? Help. Help. Luckily, this word, because it has so much going on and it's obviously urgent, is usually the same in most languages. So it's pretty straightforward if you know English. Help it sounds the same in Afrikaans and is used in the same way. See you later. See you later. You finish at the restaurant, you're going home or at the shops or whatever, and you're saying, ciao, I'm going to see you later. See you later. Um, obviously, one to use all the time. Comes alongside a goodbye, so... Remember, senior later, and maybe I'll see no later in some of the other videos. Tot <laughs> ziens. Goodbye. Um, 
directly translated tot ziens means until I see you again, which is quite nice because you're always assuming that a goodbye isn't a bad bye <laughs> and you will reconnect again at some point. So tot ziens means until next time, but it actually means goodbye. Ek weet nie. I don't know. It's okay to not know. We don't all know everything. So it's a good, this is a good one to know. <laughs> if someone asks you a question or asks you directions and you don't know because you're just a tourist here, remember to say, Ek weet nie. I use this all the time and it irritates my friends, but I'm honest at least. So, Ek weet nie. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.